Hey guys, um, this week I'm gonna talk about what I call the spark. As a kid, um, and still now, I observe people, I watch people. And as a kid, I'd saw, I'd see something in some people which I call the spark. They saw people, they seem so alive. They they draw people in like like moths to, to a flame compared to most people these people actually seem like they're alive they don't just they're not just sleepwalking through their own life it's it's been quite a while since i've seen spark i don't even know if i can see it anymore if I could only see it with a truly child mi childlike mind, and now that I no longer have the, have the mind of a child, I can't see it. Um, the closest thing I've seen <laughs> to the spark um, is a television character, Doctor Who, the 2005 um, incarnation of him. The closest thing. In, I've seen in years to the spark and it's a character on television someone who isn't necessarily real why do I think that Doctor Who has a spark well in the 2005 in incarnation of Doctor Who he's just so energetic he he seems to he, he revels in, in in new experiences in in getting to fix things in in encountering troubles he feels so much hurt yet there's so much excitement in him so much feeling that is alike to joy and he's spontaneous he's <sighs> some people call him call him crazy because the most absurd and inspired things come, come out of his mouth. Sometimes I wonder that if it's the absence of the spark which sometimes causes my um, despair. A, a passage in the book um, Steppenwolf by Hermaine Hesse kind of, it reminds me of the spark. Um, sometimes from here too, I saw it clearly, threading my life l like a divine and golden track. But nearly always it was blurred in dirt and dust. Then again, it gleamed out in golden sparks as though never to be lost again, and yet was soon quite lost once more. Only once it happened, as I lay awake at night, that I suddenly spoke in verses, in verses so beautiful and strange that I did not venture to think of writing them down. And then in the morning they vanished, and yet there, and yet they lay hidden within me like a, the hard kernel within an old brittle husk. Once it came to me while reading a poet, while pondering the thought of Descartes or Pascal, again it shone out and drove its golden track far into the sky while I was in the presence of my beloved. Ah, uh, it is hard to find this track of the divine in the midst of this life we lead, in this bestarted besotted humdrum age of spiritual blindness with its architecture, its business, its politics, its men.